What is going on, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Buffalo State College Bengals Dynasty here on NCAA Football 14. In the last episode, we saw the Bengals get their first win against the Syracuse Orange, and they have a tougher task this week against the Washington State Cougars. The last time we played a Pac-12 team, USC curb stomped us in season one. The Bengals are a much better team now, and WSU is missing their starting left tackle while we have no significant injuries across the board. Also, we are 13 for 13 all time, looking to go over 500. And speaking of USC, that was where Washington State's season began as they lost 15 to 37 to the Trojans. This is not the same air raid Washington State Cougar offense we may be used to as they have a new head head coach in Nick Rolovich and utilized the run and gun approach with Max Borgie and Cameron Cooper. The Bengals did a better job than usual of containing a mobile quarterback in Tommy DeVito last week in a win against the Syracuse Orange, so it's not pushing expectations that they can do the same this week against a lesser threat in Cameron Cooper. This is a really exciting game for me, so please be sure to drop a like and subscribe if you're new for the love of franchise and dynasty content. That is all we do here. Back to the team, some players are already getting overall boost including Shelton Stewart and Leon Jacobs. That's always nice to see, but they still need to be thinking about containing this deep Washington State wide receiver group headlined by Tay Martin and Renard Bell. Cameron Cooper is the starting quarterback for the Cougars out of Lehigh, Utah, and he does have a good arm to be able to stretch it out to the playmakers that he has, but also the ability to take off and run whenever he feels like it. His headlining receiver is Tay Martin, who's not super athletic, but is basically a superhuman technique freak that Shelton Stewart is going to have the wonderful task of handling today. Stewart did have one of the best games of his career last week and even had an interception to help the team win. Also in the receiver room is tight end Barrett Flood, who is actually a sub recruit in season one. He was ranked as the number one tight end in the class, although it's very clear that he was overrated. Another weapon that Buffalo State has to contain is Max Borgie, who finally gets to run more with the exit of the air raid scheme. He is very productive, so we need to contain him. Also on their defensive side is Jahad Woods, who is one of the best linebackers in college football and should make getting the edge a nightmare for Leon Jacobs. He's not the biggest guy at 6 foot 230, but he's very athletic and good in coverage. With that preview out of the way, let's take the field as both teams are down for the kickoff. Buffalo State set to receive the football to start the game. Dragicevich, the punter, boots it away back to Tommy Keith, and the game is underway. One yard deep in his end zone, he takes it out to the 15, cuts left to the 20, looks for more room across the 25, and down near the 27 to bring out Leon Jacobs and the rest of the Buffalo State Bengals offense. They start pistol, two tight ends to the right side. Rice gives stretch Leon Jacobs and he's hit immediately. No luck running on his first play. Second and 12, same formation. Rice takes the snap, keeps it himself to the left side, runs into Johnson and goes down for another two. Maybe they'll get out of this formation this time. Third down and 14 for Buffalo State on their first drive. Rice quick throw and nearly intercepted. They go three and out, fourth down and 14. And they send Derek Rain out to punt. They start shotgun, Borgie's the back to the right side. Cooper takes a snap, the lefty fires, and it's caught. Tay Martin makes his first reception of hopefully not many for this Buffalo State defense. Third down and six, a couple plays later. Cooper, gun left side, 444 and ticking. Takes a snap, pressure comes and Rover drills him into the turf. Washington State, not quite a three and out, but they still have to punt it back to Washington State after Bender Rover spoils the Cougs' possession. 328 still scoreless as the Bengals take over with third and eight. Rice sets up screen right side. Jacobs makes the catch and has the first down and much more after making a defender miss. He's down to midfield and Buffalo State has been very creative with getting Leon Jacobs involved this season. You can really use him for anything, but once he's in the open field, that's a lot of speed. Third down and seven, another one for the Bengals. Two by three empty, Rice snaps, quick throw. Myers makes the catch. He beats the corner and is down near the 30 yard line. He had the biggest game of his career last week, looking for another big one. 
Second down and four. Bunch right side. Rice snaps. Quick throw back to Myers. And he has another first down. Buffalo State inside the red zone with a chance to draw first blood. Second and seven. Minute 30 left. I form left side. Stretch give. Jacobs gets a block from Lee. Turns the corner and is into the end zone for a 14-yard touchdown. A couple of right-hand jabs as you can see. Leads Buffalo State to a six-point lead. Kevin Kinsley out for the PAT. Continuing the rhyming spree. That kicks on me. Sometimes my kick stick just doesn't register when I push it up. I'll do my very best to fix this in the future. Washington State takes back over 124 first down. Cooper fires over the middle. And Renard Belt makes the catch but takes a shot. Cooper with second down and four. Takes a snap, play action. Quick screen, Tay Martin. And he is dropped behind the line. That play had zero chance of working. The Cougs face with third down and long. 40 seconds and ticking with split backs. Cooper sets up screen left side. It's deflected and caught but a drop would have probably been better in the situation. That takes us to the end of the first quarter of action. Buffalo State leads 6-0, but it's been a defensive matchup so far in this game. Back to action. Buffalo State with the football face with third down. Rice snaps, quick throw, and way off line. Looks like a miscommunication between him and Myers. The Cougs have a chance to get on the board in this game. Cooper gives to Borgie right up the middle, and Hawkins makes the stop after he is able to get out to a six-yard gain. They let the clock tick down a little bit. Second and four. Cooper takes a snap. Pressure comes. Quick throw to Flood, and Shelton Stewart makes the hit to knock it away. Early on in the season, I think Shelton Stewart has had the best progression from his first to second year. Third down and four for the Cougars. Wide receiver slot right side. Takes the snap, fires middle, and Tay Martin strikes. Right as I give Shelton Stewart praise, he gets beat. Martin's third catch. They need to find a way to minimize his impact. They keep it moving following the big play. Clock under six minutes in the half. Delayed give Borgie and Hawkins is all over it. Credit him with the TFL. Third down and five. 5.07 and ticking. Empty two by three. Cooper dangerous. Lobs outside, but Martin turns Stewart around. And Smart has to shove him out of bounds at the 40-yard line. Not a good look for Shelton Stewart, who's normally so good in coverage. But Tay Martin proving to be a fantastic player. Second down and one, 430 and ticking. Cooper, inverted veer, keeps it himself, gets a block, and is finally helicoptered. Look painful, but he is all right. 13 yards. Second down and seven, clock under four minutes to go. Cooper read option, swerves Jay Woods, spins off a defender and into the end zone. Washington State finally strikes with 345 left in the first half of play on a Cam and Cooper rushing touchdown. They make their PAT and go up by one. Rice has 238 to score, bunch right side. Pressure comes and he doesn't see it off his blind side. A free rusher gets to him. It's Willie Taylor, second down and very long. Make it third down and 17, two minutes left to play. Rice takes a snap, lobs downfield and he misses Billy Myers. Three and out and they have to punt it back to WSU with a lot of time. Derek Rain to punt and what was that? He absolutely shanked it. I wonder if his kick stick is possibly messed up as aforementioned. Nonetheless, Washington State retakes the field with quads to the right side. Buffalo State moves their personnel over there. Cooper snaps, pressure comes, fires over the middle and Renard Bell is wide open like a Burger King drive through 23 yards first and goal. The clock ticks down to 139 split backs on second down and goal. Cooper snaps back to pass, quick throw middle, and Tay Martin into the end zone for a touchdown. Shelton Stewart beat again. Butch is loving it. Buffalo State wants to answer, but they're faced with third down. 121 remaining empty, two by three. Rice snaps, quick throw to the outside, and Phillips does not get his foot down in bounds. Washington State with another chance, and they start with decent field position. Just across the 50. Cooper trips left side, snaps, pressure comes, and he goes down. A swarm of Bengals defenders able to get there, but credit the sack to big old Dennis Vincent. Third down and nine under a minute to go. Split backs with Borgie to the left side. Cooper snaps, four-man rush, quick throw, Jameer Calvin, and he has a first down, spinning his way down to the 35-yard line. This Washington State receiving core is very deep. 
Second and 10, 44 seconds. Trips to the left yet again. Cooper, quick throw. Barrett Flood makes the catch, breaks a tackle, and has a first down. Shades of his number one tight end status. He moves the chains. They want to make it a two possession lead. 33 seconds. Cooper, quick dump out. Borgie and Hawkins delivers the full on blow. And Max Borgie is injured. They'll have to go the rest of the game without him. Backup checks in. Two by two. Cooper snaps. Steps up to run. Gets away from Tinsley, but is flattened. Brian Smart, the nickel. His first career sack. 12 seconds remaining. They kick it back to Tommy Keith as Buffalo State has a chance to score before the half, but they'll need a big time return. And Keith cuts to the outside to the 30 and he gives them just that across the 50 and out of bounds at the 40 yard line. Four seconds remaining, they get one shot like Eminem. Empty two by three. Rice looks to send everybody deep. Takes a snap, puts it up for Myers. He hauls it in inside the 10 to the five and down at the three. Buffalo State unable to score and they are stuck down two possessions going into the half against Washington State who has scored 17 unanswered. All right, and this is the fucking building where I had a radio show that I never went to and helped out Zach from Strong Opinion Sports call a game. That was cool. This is uh, this is where the team bus for the Bengals parked, and uh, Leon Jacobs dug his leg so far into the ground for his leg training that it tore up the whole entire area. So they have it fenced off now. Rip. As you can see, this is Cougar Stadium. We are walking towards a stadium. Estadio Martin. <laughs> Pullman has hills, and what do you get up them with? Stairs. Legs. <laughs> Stairs and legs. Rabbits. There's the library. That's the place I never go, because I skip class. Going to class is a myth, children. Where does this ramp lead? Okay, no ducks over here. Okay. <laughs> So this There's is the, top, the stadium. This is a top secret spot nobody knows about. There's the Chinook. Except for me and like 30,000 others. There's the library. Clock tower. Library. Whatever the fuck that is. Hella gyms. Second half action underway. Washington State did defer. So they start out with the football to start the second half. Ace gun for Cooper, quick give to Perry to the left side, bounces off of a tackler and plows forward for a first down in relief of the injured Max Borgie. They may not need him after all, it's first down and 10, 640 and ticking. Cooper snaps, give back to Perry and Hawkins gets his revenge, his second TFL of the game and he is having a monster season to this point. Third down and 11, tight end comes in motion left to right. Cooper takes a snap, pressure comes, evades it to the right side, completes it to Bellacross's body, but it is still fourth down and not a favorable spot. They will punt it back to Buffalo State. Spread flex, two by two set, Chris Peterson in the slot. Rice, quick throw outside, Hughes makes the catch, hits the step back, and is across the 50 after 17. 5.45 to go, first down and 10. Rice snaps back to Hughes and he makes another catch on the boundary for a gain of 12, another first down. It's certainly a relief to see that Buffalo State is able to throw the ball this year. Rice quick throw outside. Speaking of which, Myers makes the catch, another step back move. He's down to the 12, a gain of 23. And he's been really impressive. He had two touchdowns a week ago, already approaching 100. First and 10, snap from the 14. Rice evades right, high throw for Jacobs, goes up to get it, and is down near the five yard line. Clock keeps running. 
Third down and four. They have a slot receiver to the left side. It's Johnson. Rice rolls, stops, fires. Back in the end zone. Johnson makes the touchdown reception. His second touchdown of the year. We just can't ignore how good of a handle Lance Rice has on this offense as Washington State gets the ball back. 401, ticking down in the third quarter. Cooper evades the rush to the right side and is swarmed again. Number two for Dennis Vinson. They're having a field day. A gain of nine makes it third down and seven. Cooper takes the snap, wants to drift from pressure, hit as he throws and incomplete. Fourth down, Buffalo State gonna get the ball back. They're faced with an early third down and nine, empty two by three. Rice adjusts the play, takes a snap, 205 and ticking. Over the middle and Lance Phillips makes the catch for a Buffalo State Bengals first down, 17 yards on the reception over the middle. He's had a few big plays early on. Jacobs checks back in, two by two. They give it his way. He evades defenders and falls forward for a gain of 11. He's starting to get going as well. Back in the I formation, 130 and ticking. They send Peterson in motion. Rice, give to Jacobs and he spins away from a defender. How did he even do that? Nick Lee doesn't give him the block he needs. You think the play is over, but Leon Jacobs, as he did all of last season, he found a way like the Drake and Josh theme song. First and 10, no surprise. They want to feed the hot hand back in the I formation. Toss to the right side. Jacobs gets away to the corner and breaks an ankle. Oh my goodness, is he okay? Down inside the 20 yard line to the 16. And it is highlight play after highlight play. Took him a little bit of time to get going, but Leon Jacobs is on fire. He has to take a bit of a rest, so they throw two incompletions. Two by three empty for Rice yet again. Fires quick over the middle and nearly intercepted. He did not see the lurking middle linebacker. It's fourth down and 10. They trot out Kevin Kinsley for what's a chip shot field goal, but maybe not. He is offline again like my grandma's Wi-Fi. I'm going to get to the bottom of this kick issue and have it figured out by next episode. For now, the score remains 13 to 17 at the end of the third quarter. Buffalo State holds WSU scoreless and makes it a one possession game. We'll see what happens in the fourth. WSU takes back over for fourth quarter action. Under seven minutes left in the game, it's second and two. Cooper play action, pressure comes, but he throws a dot downfield to Jameer Calvin. 33 yards, oh my goodness. That was not a clean pocket by any means. WSU inside the red zone, second down and four. Cooper give Perry, he breaks the tackle from Hawkins and rumbles into the end zone just like that for a touchdown. That drive lasted as long as me at the frats. Buffalo State back onto the field, faced with third down and six, under five to go. Rice quick throw down field and Myers cannot convert. A key drop makes it fourth down and six. That would have been big. They stay out on the field to go for it. Empty two by three. Burrell's in the slot to the left side. Rice unloads downfield instead. Back to Myers. Ultimate trust for 45 yards. The most explosive offensive play to this point for Buffalo State. And it could not have come at a better time. They stay empty. Rice quick snap. Quick throw down the right sideline and touchdown Billy Myers, his third score of the year. Lance Rice is fifth. They have excellent chemistry and they cut this lead back to one. 416 left in the game. They fail the two point conversion. WSU in the gun. Cooper play action. Pressure comes. Quick throw. Barrett Flood makes the catch and has a big time first down and tack on the face mask. Jay Woods got a little bit too handsy, showing WSU that he'd fit in fine at the Greek life system. They spread the line out in the gun. Borgie back in the game for Washington State. Cooper over the middle to Bell, and he spins his way down to about the 30. Buffalo State wants to make sure they don't get into the end zone. Third down and eight, just under three minutes to go. Cooper, snap, Hawkins, pressure, and nearly intercepted on the outside. They remain out of Maza's range, which is excellent for the Bengals. It's a five point game. Two minutes left, they can win with the touchdown. Rice quick throw to the corner and Myers is out of bounds inside the 45 yard line. He's over 100 for the first time in his career. Trips to the left side, Rice takes the snap, evades pressure to the right side. He has plenty of green to run in front of him and does so for the first down. Out of bounds at the 32, clock stops at 127. 
First down and 10. O'Connell is the back. He takes the carry, spins quickly, and that move gets him seven yards in what would have probably been a loss. A few plays later, it's second down and 11. Just over a minute to go. Rice snaps, fires to the outside. Hughes makes the catch. Oh, the step back. Touchdown, Pat Hughes. Buffalo State back in the lead for the first time since the end of the first quarter. And Pat Hughes finally gets the score in this game, but he might have scored too early. Washington State has three timeouts. Buffalo State wants to go for two to make this a three-point contest. The Jacob spread flex, and he gets the key conversion for the Bengals with exactly a minute to go. Washington State takes over with 48 seconds and three timeouts. Cooper snaps, flustered to the left side, fires downfield, and Calvin makes the catch on the sideline across the 50. They call their first timeout with 41. A couple plays and a penalty makes it third and long with 18 left. Cooper stands in the pocket, plenty of time, dumps it off for Borgie Harm with the stiff arm, but it's fourth down and six. Rolovich motions to trot the field goal team out. With seven seconds to go, Buffalo State uses a timeout with five left in this game. Dupree wants enough time for the field goal and a kickoff. Maza stands back from the left hash to tie the ball game. Snap, spot, kick is up, and it is straight down the middle. Washington State ties the game up. We're going to overtime. The Bengals win the toss and defer, which is excellent. They've been to three overtimes in the series. They're one and two with two straight losses, including the latest to Troy in the bowl game. WSU starts out, trips left side. Cooper snaps, quick throw to Fisher, and he has a first down inside the 15-yard line. A very good start for Washington State. Cooper from the left hash, has a bunch set to the right side, takes the snap, throws outside, first down and 10 to Tay Martin, and he's wrapped up at the 10-yard line. Only a gain of four. Great tackle, Zach Jennings. In the gun, Borgie's the back to the left side. He gets the carry right up the middle, but Jay Woods says you shall not pass. Only a gain of one, third down and five in a key play. Tay Martin may have been the key target on this play, but he's off the field. Cooper takes a snap from the gun, third and five, flusters, rolls, looks to run, and is drug down. Micah O'Connor, no flag, Buffalo State takes over. Second down and eight from the middle of the field. Rice with the eye formation, gives Jacobs, and he's swallowed up in the backfield for a loss of two. Willie Rogers there again. Not a favorable spot. Third and 10, bunch set right side. Rice fires, Myers, stiff arms, game over! The Bengals are two and zero oh after a comeback Overtime win over my alma mater, the Washington State Cougars, off of the best game of Lance Rice's career, far none. 33 to 30 was the final score, and I honestly thought this game was in the toilet where Washington State had a 17 point second quarter. Maybe it's a little bittersweet for me, but I'm glad the Bengals could pull out the win off of 314 yards, four touchdowns from Lance Rice, a touchdown from Leon Jacobs, and of course, the star of the episode, Billy Myers, who had two touchdowns, including the walk-off one. Pat Hughes and Chris Johnson scored as well. And of course, on the defensive end, Tony Hawkins had nine tackles, two TFLs. He was a force today, but also Ben DeRover had six tackles, a TFL, and a sack. And don't discredit Shelton Stewart. He really overcame those struggles and was a key reason that Cam and Cooper only threw a touchdown in this game. All in all, if you enjoyed this video, it took a lot of work. Please drop a like and subscribe for the love of franchise and dynasty content. It's all we do here. We can build a winner together at Buffalo State. Click here for more Bengals.